morning it's a bit blustery today i hope there's not too much wind noise for you and it's starting to rain so i'm going to keep this quick but i want to let you know about this week's podcast because it is so absolutely it, it, it's amazing actually i mean i always love all of my podcasts but this one is very special to me because i'm interviewing tanya Elfasi, and until i read tanya's work on menopause in midlife Um, I thought I was a lone voice in the wilderness on menopause because things that I was reading just didn't make sense to me. Um, And when I thought about them, it made even less sense to me. And it wasn't until I read Tanya's work that I found somebody else who was similarly a bit confused about what was going on and was thinking through things and coming up with new ideas that are applicable to all women. So this podcast is being wiser um, in menopause because if we trust our innate wisdom, if we trust our bodies, then we are likely to have a better experience of the midlife and menopause transition than if we just assume that they're broken. And the thing is, this is the wonderful thing about this podcast, is we talk about how The body doesn't just malfunction when we get to midlife. You know, our bodies don't do that. Generally speaking, our body knows how to get us through puberty. It knows how to get us through pregnancy. It knows how to get us through childbirth. Those things may be difficult, but the body knows what it's doing. And then there is this perception out there, certainly in the UK, that when we get to midlife and we get to menopause, suddenly the body doesn't know what it's doing our hay- hormones go haywire we're broken we need to be fixed and neither tanya nor i agree with that we just don't see it that way but we think you know menopause has become too pathologized it's become this thing that well there's such a narrative of fear around menopause now and there's a narrative of fear for younger women coming up, they're probably going to be petrified. You know, menopause is now this gateway to everything that can go wrong for a woman in later life. And we think it's it's really, it's age and lifestyle that bring those issues. It's not just menopause. We're designed to go through menopause. We're not broken. We don't need to be fixed. So go and have a listen to this podcast. Tanya also does a brilliant analysis of the Davina McCall menopause documentaries where she talks about the fact that you know there was product placement in these documentaries um, you actually saw an off-label product on the television and Davina showing you how to use it and that just is a bit weird don't you th- I mean I just, I didn't think about it at the time. It wasn't, again, until I talked to Tanya and read Tanya's blog post about it that I thought, you're right. This isn't, this isn't right. Since when do we have product placement in in a factual documentary, especially about a medical issue or they're presenting it as a medical issue? Anyway, go and have a listen. As usual, you can listen on any podcast player. You can listen on Spotify, you can listen on Amazon Alexa. Just say, play the Magnificent Midlife Podcast. Go and have a listen, because it'll really challenge you to think differently and to keep that curiosity high. I'm always saying, stay curious. Don't believe what you read, what you hear, because people have always got an agenda. And you can say, I've got an agenda. I have got an agenda. I want to bring clarity to this. I want women to have all the information they need. And I don't want them to be sold a story that just isn't true and which is only going to generate fear. And what does fear do? It makes us more anxious. And then, and then we all get more anxious and then we have a worse menopause experience. It just, you know, it's this fear feeding loop. So go and have a listen. And, uh, down here on the river um it's not a very nice day it's a bit wet and windy so have a lovely day yourselves and oh if you're you, the menopause summit with pat Duckworth, um yeah we're doing that today 
so there's still time if you go through my stories you'll find a link to join uh, to sign up for that today so that's starting very soon so i better go and get my my kit on my non-running kit so i can take part in the summit anyway have a great day bye now